Welcome back to Let Us Learn to Lead video series on free open source software designed by M. Srinivasan, Training Associate Mathematics, Kendra Vidyalaya Sangatan, Zonal Institute of Education and Training, Mumbai. Self learning contents in video form on GeoGebra, dynamic mathematics software is presented at this video series. To view the contents, you may join the Google Classroom by using the class code 73AUMBO. In this video, you will learn designing worksheet to construct a triangle using sliders. For preparing this video lecture, I used Windows 10 operating system, GeoGebra 5.0, a free open source software and free open source screen recorder software. Let us start. Let me show you what type of worksheet we are going to prepare. We are going to prepare the construction of a triangle using sliders. I will take two sliders for two angles. No need for the third angle because if two angles are fixed, the third angle will get automatically fixed. I will take a segment and I will uh, draw the first uh, angle, the second angle and the ray meet at C and uh, ABC is formed now. Okay, here what is the advantage? Now I can fix these angles now. When I move this, I can't uh, move this one. You see, I can't, I can move only the uh, size of it. You can tell that everything we are getting only similar triangles by just moving here and there. But I can move this, I can get these angles, which are all uh, whole numbers. There is no need to uh, worry about correct it to one decimal place or two decimal place and all. If you want exactly a right angle triangle, what you can do is you can just pull it and then put it at uh, exactly at 90. And I can tell the children that uh, I got a right angle triangle now. You can show a right angle triangle now. Maybe similar right angle triangles you can show. There is one advantage now. Let us try to design this worksheet from scratch. For that, I have selected GeoGebra Classic 5 worksheet and I have selected geometry view and I have selected the option as labeling of new points only. Before we start, let us just learn what is actually the slider. Here the slider is over here. The slider, when you put it, it will ask you whether you want a number slider or a angle slider and or a integer, integer slider that also at random. Then if you want the interval for minimum and maximum and increment and slider animation is also there, whether it is horizontal or whether it will be vertical from top to bottom or left to right. That the way just you are pulling and pushing this uh, left to you. Therefore, now what is the advantage of this uh, slider? Now, now let me just uh, tell you that before I start it. Suppose if I take one uh, line segment over here and if I know its uh, length of it, for example, I will have the, I will show you the length, the value I will show you. Now it is 7.3. Actually what is happening here when I am pulling it and pushing it, you see it is changing, but uh, it is changing 16.4 and so on. Similarly, if I make one angle at this point, for example, if I take another segment and then uh, put it over here and uh, let me take this angle in clockwise direction. Let me get the angle now. This is 38 degrees. Now in the option when you round it out to two decimal place or whatever, maybe when I am pulling and pushing it, you see you are getting the angle also in a two decimal place and so on. For when you want to fix the angle at a value which I want, the length of the segment at a place which I want, the coefficient of a variable where I want, for example, y square is equal to 4ax, where I want to change the a and then see what actually happens to that parabola. For example, I can take a straight line and then I want to change the value of a, b, c and then check what will happen to the straight line when a is 0, b is 0, c is 0. So for, for making use of this, the slider actually helps you a lot. Okay, now let us try to uh, see the sliders. The slider, as I explained, it is having a number. It can be a number, it can be an angle, or it can be an integer. But when you take an integer, increment will be automatically one positive integer, and uh, angle means all of you know that it is from 0 degrees to 36 degrees. The number may be anything. But now in a default setting, it will be minus 5 to 5. Now, <coughs> for the triangle, I am going to have a construct a triangle now. I will cancel it. I will go for the heading construction 
of triangle using sliders okay uh, i'm clicking it okay so that uh, okay now i want one slider now the slider i want it to be an angle automatically it takes alpha you are taking it is alpha now i don't want it to be zero minimum uh, i want the minimum as one and uh, i don't want it to be 360 degrees but i will have it as 180 degrees have it as okay now it has come over here and you can pull it and push it somewhere and you can fix its position also uh, by right clicking it you can fix the object and you can have the animation and you can have the object properties change its color change its thickness and so on you play around and find it okay now let me go for one more angle again the slider when i put it you see <coughs> when i take the angle once again it takes beta immediately so let me uh, go for one and let me have it also up to 180 degrees okay let me put it over here okay now i will go for uh, i mean constructing a triangle now for that let me go for <coughs> the options labeling of new points only rounding off to two decimal place whatever you want yes uh, we will go for uh, segment now i am drawing a segment a b okay now i want to draw one angle a and angle b but i want them to be alpha and beta because i want to move it and then change it or go for this angle with the given size angle with the given size touch this touch this it will ask what angle you want actually you know this is 45 degrees then 45 degrees will come but i want it to be alpha which is a variable in that variable the range is fixed in the slider number one you see i got it i will go for this ray and then finish it then i will uh, remove this that is show object then it will go now what is the advantage now you see this is 45 degrees it is showing over here when i move this you see automatically that goes therefore wherever i want to fix suppose i want it to be 90 degrees i can fix it and then tell that okay now it is 90 degrees or if i wanted to make it as an acute angle obtuse angle now it is in my control this uh, angle a is it okay now okay well. now let us make it as uh, 40 40 degrees or whatever maybe okay well now let us go and uh, have it for angle b in the same way angle with the given size touch a touch b now you have to make it as beta because you are having the beta as the next slider but it should be clockwise because we have taken a b not b a okay click okay now you got this 45 degrees now it is kept at 45 now go and uh, draw the gray Day is drawn you can remove it because i don't want it now we will go for the po <coughs> points of intersection of uh, these two lines ah you got it at c okay well now i will go to this polygon a i will touch a i will touch b i will touch this c and i will touch that a good now these two uh, rays which i don't want the for show object and then click it and then show the object okay now you got this uh, triangle now now if i move this you see when i move this we are getting a triangle with that uh, required angles now now you can ask the child to get the second angle by fix the third angle by fixing alpha and beta now here you remember after these two are fixed you can only change the size of the sides you cannot change the angles which means that you can get different similar <coughs> triangles to the triangle which you have drawn now now you can ask the child to find the third angle also in clockwise direction now they can check it now it is exactly exactly now you see in the option it is uh, <coughs> rounding off to two decimal three decimal whatever may be the numbers here are round numbers only now what you can do now you can now fix the uh, alpha beta at a particular spot you can ask so many questions to the children what type of triangle it is what is the third angle like that you can go on asking so many questions now now the angles of a triangle is under your control you are fixing the range for it from which number to which number and by moving it you are getting different triangles this is the important thing about slider for in the slider we will <coughs> uh, I mean uh, change the value of anything you can change the value of an angle or the uh, value of any uh, number or any integer and then you, you can go on explore so many things out of it thank you